All right, so here's how we do a backdoor Roth within TurboTax. You're gonna hit this deductions and credits here within the federal on this little tab, right? Come here, scroll down to where it says retirements and investments. Click on the traditional and Roth contributions. Click start or revisit in my case here. You're gonna wanna check the box for a traditional IRA for who's ever making this backdoor Roth, okay? Now the reason we're doing traditional IRA, how this Roth, this backdoor Roth works. Well, you put into a traditional IRA and you elect it as what we call non-deductible and then what we call convert it to a Roth IRA. That is the backdoor Roth. The reason we are doing this is because generally we're doing this is because your income level is over the amount to put directly into a Roth. You'll see here IRS's website. If you make over uh, 228 for, what is this, 2023, you cannot put anything directly into a Roth. So that's why we would do the backdoor Roth. That's if you're married, and this is if you are single or any of these other filing statuses, it's over 153, okay? Or if you wanna put into a traditional IRA and you already have a retirement plan at work, at work this is 2022 levels, right? If you're single, then you know anything you make over seven uh, seventy eight thousand, you cannot deduct. So you would essentially have to do this backdoor Roth here, okay? And here's married filing jointly. All right, and then the max that you can put into either of these or into an IRA combined is six thousand for twenty nineteen through twenty two, or sixty five hundred for twenty twenty three. Um, and obviously, there's that catch up of a thousand dollars if you're over fifty. All right, so that's why we check that IRA box here. Click continue. Um, this is not a repayment, no. Um, how much did you contribute? I'm gonna put the max for 2022. There it is, 6,000. Continue, did you change your mind? Did we recharacterize this? No, we did not recharacterize this. Is this excess? We'll say no from 21, right? And the 8606. So this is super important, this form you'll see in a second. But um, what this is asking is if we have any non-deductible IRA contributions from prior years that have not been pulled out of an IRA. We wanna make sure we track this. Um, so I'm gonna click no, but if you do have that, right, you definitely wanna hit yes. Um, and then the value, I'm gonna put zero. The reason I'm putting zero is generally the way we do the backdoor Roth is you contribute to a traditional and then you essentially immediately convert it to a Roth. So at the end of the year, there's nothing left in that traditional account. So it would be a zero. TurboTax is telling us that, yep, we're over that 129 limit for the, what is that? Yeah, if I have a retirement plan at work, essentially, right? The 129, there it is. So I can't contribute directly. So it's gonna say it is a non-deductible IRA. So our IRA deduction is zero, i.e., again, non-deductible. So now we want to do the backdoor to get it into a Roth. And the reason we're doing the Roth here in this situation is if it's non-deductible and it stays in a traditional IRA, when you go to pull the money out, the IRS is gonna wanna tax you. That would be essentially double taxation there, right? You did not get the deduction to pull it in, i.e. it's after tax money. And then when you go to pull it out, they're gonna tax you. Like, yeah. So that's why we want to immediately then put it into a Roth account, which is an after tax account. So when you go to pull it out, the IRS is not looking for tax on that. All right, so now how do we do the withdrawal? So once you convert the traditional IRA to a Roth with your brokerage account, they are then gonna send you a 1099R. So the 1099R is gonna look something like this, right? It'll have that 6,000 amount that you converted, again, converted to a Roth, from the traditional to a Roth. And you'll see here it has that distribution code 2 which is gonna say there are some exceptions that yes, you pulled out of a retirement account early, but there are exceptions because you're doing this conversion, okay? So now we wanna use this 1099R within TurboTax. So we go to wages and income to input this. Okay, we're gonna scroll down to let's say retirement income, okay? And hit this 1099R right here, revisit. And there it is. I'll just, I already put it in here. But anyways, um, you're going to want to add that 1099R in. Okay. Edit just so we see. Continue. Yep, continue. And there it is. I put the information in there. 
six thousand dollars six thousand and you'll have that code two right here saying that it was early distribution but this was the conversion and you'll make sure you check that ira box here so then the uh, software knows to then link this up with that contribution hit continue okay continue wait back this is good news right you don't owe any extra taxes this is the uh, the software picking up that hey this is the backdoor Roth. That's why there's no ta additional tax on this thing. Continue. Um, do any of these situations apply? We'll say no. And then there you go. You got to tell them that you converted this to the Roth. Okay, check that box there. And you're going to say, yep, all of it was converted to the Roth. And there you go. There's that. All right, so the way that we double check that we did this right is we gotta take a look at the actual tax return itself. This is what I like to do to be able to take a look at the return here, okay, before I actually go ahead and file. Get ready to save. So I go down here, whoops, you can't see that. My face is in the way, here we go. Um, you go down here and click File, okay? And then whenever this loads here, here we go. Uh, get ready and save your returns. Go ahead, start. Um, and you're gonna hit click file by mail here, okay? I think it it by default hit e-file, so change that to file, but you can just go here, change, right? Hit file by mail, hit save, right? And then continue. Um, and then, you know, I got, this thing's got all kinds of issues with it, but anyways, you can continue without um, fixing the issues and then hit download, right? And then it's gonna pop up in an, its own new little window here and this is where we're gonna check it out. So you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to, let's see here, this 8606. This is the important one, right? Meat and potatoes of this thing here. I'll move my thing over. Uh, the 8606, this is where the backdoor Roth happens, okay? Non-deductible IRA. So we wanna make sure this is done properly, right? Non-deductible contributions. You wanna make sure you see that 6,000 that you put into a traditional IRA. Okay, you can see like right total basis. This is like prior years contributions, but 6,000 is all we got in there. Um, and then we are going to see this is a non taxable portion of the distribution here. So we did distribute right the 6,000. Actually, you're going to see this down here taxable amount zero. So this is how it should look right conversions. There it is right to the Roth traditional to the Roth. Okay, you'll see the 6,000 that was there, um, and then the taxable amount is zero. And the reason it's zero is, again, because we elected the non-deductible up here. But it is giving us a worksheet as well from here. But nonetheless, you do want to see this 8606 done properly here. Um, and then you're also going to see on the front of the return, you're going to see that 6,000 here, right? But as taxable amount, zero. So that's how we double check the work. Hope the video was helpful. If it was, like, share, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more TurboTax help here as well. Thanks so much.